Sheila Brunson had come home to find her daughter Darla murdered. There was nothing left of her but a bundle of bones in the center of her bed. Unable to cope with the grief of losing her only child, Sheila jumped from a bridge. Her body was never recovered. In her suicide note, she left only one wish, that her daughter's doll, named Dolly, be burned and buried. Her wishes were not honored. Jane Dortek loved shopping at the local Goodwill. She enjoyed discovering new things and old items. One day, while browsing, her eyes locked onto a peculiar doll. It was an odd-looking doll with white hair and crystal blue eyes. She picked up the doll and held it in her hands. Those clear blue eyes seemed to look right through her. Then Jane felt its heartbeat. With a gasp, she quickly put the doll back on the shelf and left the store. Jane escaped to the safety of her car and realized she'd been holding her breath. She drove home and after a while, she'd forgotten all about that little odd doll. That night, after making love with her husband, Jane fell into a deep sleep. It was her husband's moaning that pulled her into groggy wakefulness. She glanced over at her husband and saw his eyes wide with fright. A tiny hand covered his mouth and on top of him, riding him like a stallion that fucking doll. Jane Dortek awoke the next morning from her dream. She reached out a hand across the bed for her husband. He was not there. Jane sat up in bed and there on the walls, written in blood, were the words, Hope you slept well. Dolly.